This is my first day putting out a bag of trash. I put the bag of trash out last night and I carried it to the end of the driveway all the way down there. And now here's the good news about getting trash service again. I get to exercise by walking all the way down there to get it. Yes, this is good for me. This is what I'm telling myself. See this redbud tree? I'm going to shield this with my hands as much as I can. I planted this the year after my husband died and it just struggled and struggled and struggled. And this is the first year it bloomed. It's been like 16 years and it's finally getting big and starting to look pretty. One of these days I'll probably come out and find it cut down because of those neighbors. They'll probably decide they can't see out their drive or something. That's my drive right there. How long for the days when I was the only house out here? It's like living in the city. Hello, Grandma DC here. Well, I might look a little disheveled right now. I just came back in from getting my trash can. Good exercise dragging that can down there and back. Yeah, okay. And today, um, I had some really good suggestions from my keto family. Uh, thank you all. And one of them was in regards to the uh, noodles we made, the egg noodles that were made with the fiber and the ISO pure powder. And someone said, add seasonings to that and make them like a crunchy, uh, crispy, you know, snack. And I thought, brilliant, bits, bits, blitz, bits. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I'm sorry if I butchered your call name. Um, so this is what we're gonna try to do today. And I also wanted to do a bit of a catch-up vlog on the keto diet and how it's doing for me. This is now October 4th. I started August 12th. And um, I have to date lost approximately 10 pounds. Now that's five pounds per month. And it, it drops, and then I sit there and play with two or three pounds, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then I'm hoping in the next month to maybe get another five pound drop. You know, if I could get five pounds a month, I wouldn't ask for anything else. <laughs> Ever again, yes, but that's a lie, but you know. <laughs> it, the heavens above knows that I lie, so that's the way I was created. Hmm. Now, I wanted to discuss with you something before we start cooking. That's interesting, and this is just for the older girls who will understand. I have these little measuring spoons, and of course I got them from the Amish store. People are always asking me, where do you get your spoons, your measuring spoons? I'm the Amish store in Windsor, Missouri. But uh, the thing is, what I like about these, and I don't use them very often, but this is written on here. You can't see it. I don't, I don't think you can see it. Let me see if I can get it. Can I get it close enough that you can actually see? I don't know if my camera is focusing. Anyway, this right here says, it's a smidge. This is a smidge. This is a nip, here's a dash, and here's a pinch. Now, I would argue between the pinch and the smidge. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think this is more of a pinch and that's more of a smidge, but that's just me personally. Now ladies, seriously, for those of you that get recipes that are really exact and precise, do you think any of these little amounts are gonna make any difference? No, no. You know what, you got your seasonings, Put in what you think looks good. This is why we cook by the seat of our pants. You know, and we all do it. All right? You don't need to be precise about anything. Just do it about. It's a whole matter of taste. But these are sure cute, aren't they? I like them because they're cute. And I think they're a good teaching tool for maybe young women that have never cooked before. Maybe that'll give them a visual. Okay. Off and running. Third of a cup of psyllium. Got my third of a cup of ISO pure powder. Let me show that to you. Um, this is the zero carb, 100% whey protein isolate, no added sugars, ISO pure protein powder. I get this off of Amazon. And I got the uh, whole psyllium husks off of Amazon also. As a matter of fact, this on here actually has the nutrition counts. And it is eight grams of total carbohydrates in two level tablespoon and it has seven grams of salt dietary fiber so uh, it has seven and eight one per two tablespoon of total carbohydrate so if you wanted me to get this out and see how many tablespoons are in here i think there's about four so let's say two grams of carbs and that the isolate powder zero and that's going to be in our entire noodle recipe. Uh, this time I'm just going to put in four eggs because I was short on eggs. 
like I said, measurements are always in an approximate when you're cooking with Grandma. So we'll just toss in four really quick. Grandma will show off some ninja skills. One-handed, look at that. My little bitty favorite whiskey thingy I've got here now, and I'm gonna whisk that up. We did this before. Now I figured by just using four eggs instead of five, this may come out just a little bit thicker and stiffer, and that's okay. We could always add a little bit of water if we wanted to. And then we put in our one third cup of isopure and give that a little stir, stir, stir. Isopure uh, is a whey protein powder, and it, it gets a little lumpy when you first put it in there. You just keep at it. It'll smooth out, especially when I add in our third of a cup of psyllium fiber. Now the thing about psyllium fiber that I really love is that as we get older, we need that psyllium fiber so we can go potty. I used to think my grandmother talked way too much about her bowels. Now I can so relate. I try not. To, I'm at the age that I still try not to talk about them, but you know, every once in a while it still slips out. Oh, oh, oh. okay. My favorite, pink Hawaiian sea salt pepper, as we all know. Now, Another thing I really love is dried garlic. And I am going to put in, like I said, we're just doing, you know, proximates here. Oh my goodness, I think a good heavy teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons of the dried garlic. And I have a little bit. Now, if I had onion powder, I would use that. Typically, I use dehydrated things. So a teaspoon of dehydrated onion. Now, I know, let's just call that a carb for that little dab. So let's up this to maybe three total carbs, uh, or let's just say less than five in the whole thing. I mean, you're not gonna be eating a bag of chips for five carbs, that's for sure. <laughs> and again, this is gonna start getting thick because of the fiber, so we wanna get that poured. I'm gonna actually, even though it's raw egg, don't look at me. Mmm, I think it needs a little more salt. Definitely, for my taste. Um, all right, over here we come. You know, I was, I was thinking today, maybe I'll just use coconut oil spray. It really doesn't matter. Just make it a little less sticky. Put it in here, bake it 375 for 15 minutes and check it and then check it every five minutes. Uh, if your oven's extra hot, you might check that for in 10 minutes just to make sure that your noodles don't get burnt. in 15 20 minutes Here we go there she blows and once again it turned out just the same the edges are lifted up it's all dry and we're going to cut this into strips for munching hang on all right now you can cut these in any shape you want you know I don't, but uh I, i'm gonna take this oh <laughs> all right that would even extra be good in soup with the garlic and the onion little bits and things. I think I can dust this with a little garlic powder. Oh wow. And maybe just a little more salt if you're gonna take it to the movie theater and sneak it in. Oh no, not that I would ever sneak food into the theater. No. Not grandma. No. Now, for those of you that don't have a dehydrator, cause someone asked me, Marion. <laughs> I love y'all for reminding me sometimes I get ahead of myself. Um, I'm going to show you, just put your uh, oven on the lowest setting that it'll go. Most ovens will go down to 170 degrees. Um, so just stick it on the lowest setting you can get it on. There it is, 170 degrees. Then, let me get some of my stuff out of the way here. I have, I have this thing. I think I got it um, at a barbecue place. It's, it's like for grilling vegetables that would fall through a normal grate on a grill. But uh, if you can find a screen or anything else, I think I got two of these for a buck and a half when they were on sale. And they're fantastic for all kinds of stuff, and I just keep reusing them. But uh, we're going to put the noodles on there, and I'm just going to stick them in the oven with the door slightly ajar. And this is how we're going to dry them. And there they are, on low, and I just leave the door slightly ajar, maybe the first notch. And then come back in an hour or so and uh, test them to see if they're crispy and dry. Okay, well here they are all dried and uh, the thinner you cut them, of course, the faster they'll dry. Mmm, crispy, crunchy, absolutely delicious. I kind of like the garlic and the, and the onion in there. Really good. 
And I could also see where these would be even more flavorful in soups and bone broth and stuff. So, you know, some of you count every single carb as a carb. You don't consider the fiber. And um, I think that we need fiber in this diet. I mean, fiber is really important to, you know, pass things through your system. So, <laughs> believe me, this is one way to get fiber. And, um, but if you do, like, take something like this to the theater to, to crunch on instead of pork rinds, uh, you better get a big glass of water or something. These things are dry. <laughs> but good. All right, bits, bits. Thank you for the suggestion, hon. Uh, this was a fun quickie, I think. And I hope that it clarified some things for some of the rest of you about dehydrating and how to go about that. Um, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. I had someone tell me I forgot to do that in one of my videos. <laughs> I said, I feel like I'm nagging you all. Uh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. It's like, oh, my lord. Last thing I ever want to do is nag somebody. Heavens knows I get nagged enough. But um, there you go. Love y'all. Bye.